everybody, wherever, wherever you are, Brother John. Again, another day, another Lord has made. And it's a free gift given by himself to each and everybody in this world. The giving of the day to each and everybody is the blindness of the unirrect thinking that God loves them to eternity, to heaven. I remember one of the time, those preamble times, we have been preaching that God loves everybody just to see that the rain comes to each and everybody's field. And uh, the sun shines to everybody. We, we woke up in the morning with our uh, arrive to everybody. So to see the commonness in things, eh, that makes us to conclude that he loves everybody, of which he wants everybody to help his kingdom. <laughs> Remember the former things of old, 
for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Bundi mane na wote kumbukira ni zinuzo ya mbazakare. Kudi ine ndine mulungu, ndipo balibe ndina, ine ndine hoba, ndipo balibe ndine hoba. Ten. Declaring the end. Ten. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying it. My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my prayer. Remember, Kira Zajimari Ziro, we are Mira Vajambi, Nikuambi and Tawi Zakale, Dine Nazimene, Zisa Najitidwe, Nikune na Upunguanga, Uzakala and Dipo, Nizajida Zofuna Zangazonse. May the Lord bless the reading of His word to Him be all the glory. And honor because of that. Amwe mulungu adadi se kuerenga kwa mawua kwenye bogo yeye gukalio le mwana sini bata mando kwa hichi. Last week we were looking and taught the idolatry worship, whereby multitudes of people worship in their blindness, thinking that they are worshiping God. Wiki ya tadi mayanga na zako pembe za mafano. Umene antwa mbili ama kuchita hapo gani zangata kamatero wa kupembe za mulungu wapuli. And people does whatever they think in the name of saving the Lord that brings total blindness so that they should never see the Christ of the scriptures. Kipotu antwa ama esa kupanga china jiti jonesa jimene yo wa kuganiza. Here, the seven, we see that it's, it's people who made their own God. They worship the God of their hands. And the God is that standard because you have made him to stand that do whatever you help him do the thing that you want him to do. Ndi mulungu do amena ama imirira jifajo nita kutu wei wajita kumpanga kutu ya imirira ndi buwama chita jiri jose jimene yi wei kutu kumtandiza kutu ya chita jimene jo. Ya da idu leo. He never speak but he speak on his behalf. How can we know that people have got their gods of their minds? One, we see them when they are preaching their God. That is, their God seems to be powerless, but need them, the people who are powerful enough to help their God. Those things. Secondary, we see them when they are preaching, they express the eyes in everything. I, 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 in the name, in the place of God. It's the dead God whom these people worship. So we see them when they are preaching. They say that God has done his part. Now it's your turn to do your part so that it should be served. And they express their God, very wicked God, because he totally depends upon the ability of a man. Yes, Lord. 
There is lots of gods that people are worshiping. The bars, uh, the dragons, and whatsoever. People worship gods. And there is a God of their minds. That is idea that produce idolatry worship. The God of their minds. The God of their hearts. The God of their wills. And there is a the question might be, what makes the people to worship the gods? Let us open the book of Second Pastoronians, chapter 2, verse 11 downwards. Verse 11 says, And for these cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. The verse 11, Thessalonica, chapter 2, Agunena Guti. Ndipo jifuwa jache mulungu atumiza kwa yo majitidu akuso jeresa kuti akurubilile boza. So it's God who sends the strong derision so that the people should believe the law. Ndipo ndi mulungu mwini wacha amena matumiza kwa yo maganizo so jeresa kuti yo akurubilile za boza. So before the strong derision comes, there is already a lie set forth waiting to come so that the people should believe it. Komadu, pastor na fige ma sojere sa kuda antwa fige po kulu gila nishuza boza. Jintu ime ichi ma jitika nchone na kude po yamba. Pama imidira boza. Limena lima kalabo kuda lika jitika antwa jali kulu gilide. So the lie is led waiting for the people to be lied to so that they should be delusioned. Ndeno boza lima karabo boyamba kuhimi kika pa masoba antu. Kuti boza lorika ngwati rana midu antayo mwayo antu akurubilile so sojere sazwa sojere soba antu. So after the light is there, God now is sending the strong delusion so that the people should believe that lie that has already set forth. Ndeno boza lima karabo boyamba kuhimi kika pa masoba antu. Kuti boza lorika ngwati rana midu antayo mwayo antu akurubilile so sojere sazwa sojere soba antu. So after the light is there, God now is sending the strong delusion so that the people should believe that when they say the strong delusion, it means that nobody can manage to escape from this delusion if it is not the Lord who made it for you to be touched away from it. Ndeno agamane na zama jitido oso jeresa o ni majitido amene ndi ampangu kwa mbi. Amene mundu bae uweka su ungate kutoka mo mene mungati su zinga jido otengira mungu mwini wake kukutu usamu. Because if it is God who is sending the strong delusion, it means nobody can escape from it if it is not God who made you not to. Chifu wanga dindi mulungu mwini wake amena wachita kutumi za majitudo oso jeresa o kwa antu kuda wa kuru binire. Zikutanda uza kuna uri popanda so mulungu mwini wake kukutu usa mwumene mwumo iwe sunga ate kutulu uka. Lie. It speaks about lie. Liar. And the owner of the lie is the devil himself, the father of the lie since the beginning of the world. Dedu ababa gulang kula zama jitulio so jeresa kumasu wa boza, kuda kubile za boza. Ndea kama chula za boza, agulang kula za sadana. Amene sadana yu dedu ade wa boza, amene ama pangisa kuda antwazi kubile za zivenezi. Which means Satan was set forth in advance before a man receive this delusion so that it should be delusion. Ndeno, zo mwezi kudanda, zo kune na kuti, bo yamba bo za ulima karana kuli, ndi satana, ndi nali kwa satana, ndi satana fika bobele kitu wapa mtu. Ndeno, kuma karana kwa safuda, kwa mtu kuda alikuru vili ye bo za. This is so, that's why, even if never rejects from the lie that comes from the snake to eat, 
that fruit Ichi ndo njivaja kenga kale Adam ndiye eva munda waide ni muja hakuna aliposa vuta kuti akumbie bodza ndikuja chipaso chimene mulungu ana walesa kuti asaje And it was very easy again for Adam to follow his wife eating the fruit because the lie is already there set forth to delusionize the people Mumwe mwanzo rwada mumba mbwe kunena kuti eva walandira chipaso chinja kwada muso kuna liposa vuta kulandira chipaso chondi kukhulupirira bodza chifwa chonena kuti kusachiletsa kuna ali kuti ayamba kale kuchitika kwa eva So God made it to be so that there should be a division should be two groups of people those the Lord loved and erected before the foundation of the world and Christ died for them to receive this Christ of the scriptures the same time should be other group of people that will be left to themselves kuma kuti mulungu anachipanga ichi kuti chikhale choncho ndicho linga chakukagawa mtolinga chonena kuti kwaiyo amene mulungu ana wapatulira ati dziko la pasilisa na kazikike ndikuti Yesu Kristo anabwera kudzawa fera akakhulupirira uthanga wabwino ndipo nthawi yomweyo kwaiyo onse amene mulungu ana wasiya kuchokera pa chiyambi ndipo kuti paiyo palibe chombolo chombolo cha mwanzi wa Yesu Kristo akadaike au lida kedi the celebrate the whole sentence whereby it says and for this cause because of this God shall send them strong of the region that they should believe in love they do it in gas on the chapter 2 yo mwabune na kuti ndipo chifukwa chache ichitu chifukwa mulungu anatumiza kwa iwo machitidwe akusocheretsa kuti akulubirire bodza when we read first peter chapter 2 verse 8 says and a straw a stone of stumbling a lock of offense even to them which stumble at the word being disobedient where and to also they were appointed meaning somebody more powerful appointed others somewhere so that it could be there First Peter chapter 2 verse 8 One Pedro osati to Pedro koma one Pedro chapter 2 ndi make ya 80 imene akunena kuti ndipo mwala wa kukumudwa nawo ndi thanthwe lokumudwisa kwaiyo akukumudwa ndi mawu pokhala osamvera kumene konso adaikidwako Here it is speaking that there is people who are not believe upon the word of god or the christ of the scriptures instead they will stumble upon the stumbling block and it, this is because god appointed them to be that side of disobedience of this believing the gospel ndedu apa makala nkula zonena kuti pali ya anthu amene anaikidwira anthu amene saza kulupirira uthenga wabwino amene aza kumudwa ndi mwala umene ni mwala wokumidwa wokumudwisa umene ndi Yesu Kristu mmalo mwaka iwo nthawi zonse aza khala otsusa uthenga kapena aza khala okumudwa ndi uthenga chifandi mulungu mwine amene ana waikira anthu kuti anthu akumudwe ndi mawo if it is god who appointed you to be there to be disappointed with the gospel you can never manage to come out yourself from that ndipo tu ngati simulungu mwini amene wakupatula iwe kuti utuluke muthenga wachisochereso ndi kukhulupira uthenga wabwino iwe sunga kwanise kutuluka mumene god appointed some with the stumbling block of praise whereby the stumbling upon the word of god ndiye mulungu anachita kupatuliratu ena kulena kuti akhale kumbali ya kukhumudwa ndi mwala wokumudwisa kuti pa amene waza khala kukhumudwa ndi mawu ndi so these people that would be at the stumbling place there are the same people that will believe the lie always ndiye anthu amene ogulu la anthu limene linaikidwa kumbali ya kukhumudwa 
ndi mwalao anthu wake ndi omwe wa mira makubi ama kulungulira zosogeresa nthawi zonse Blessed you are if your eyes has been opened and see the beauty of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us go back to the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and now verse 12. Whereby it says that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, truth that is Christ, but had the pressure in and lusciousness. Then may I prove what would you could go and see the own say? Amene sana kulubilira Jona di Jona di ndi Yesu Kristu komatu anakondwera ndi chosa lungama So here you can see that he is speaking about two groups of people those who believe the truth and those who do not believe the truth Ndiyo hapo mukoza kuona magulu awili yandu gulu layamba alaiwa amirana kulubilira Jona di komanso kulina lanta amene sana kulubilira Jona di Those who do not believe the truth will be damned because of that. Ndiye iwa amene sana kulubilira utenga wabu ino aza kumudwa chifacha chimenecho. And those who believe the truth will be comforted with Christ. Pamene kwa iwa amene nakidwa kugwa kulubilira utenga wabu ino yodwa za tonkosedwa ndi Kristo. Truth comforts people. Truth comforts people you know chona ndi chima tonthoza anthu truth brings hope the irreds ndiro ndi chima sokolera atu kuyumba kwa iwo kwabine ndosankhidwa truth gives hope the irreds ndiro chona ndi mapeleka chiyembekezo kwa iwo amene ndosankhidwa truth disappoints he had erected matayo mwe jona dijima kala ndo kumudisa kwanthu wonse vene ndo sasankhidwa so if the truth has disappointed you then what happened is that you had pleasure in unrighteousness you know ngadi jona di titakala jona nakuti sijina kutonthoza sijina kupasa chiyembekezo mmalo mwaka iwe uma kondwera ndicho sabunga what is this unrighteousness that makes people to have pressure in it odi jo salunga ma jo nchipi jo chimere chima apangisa anthu kuti azikondwera nacho that is self justification self lusciousness kumene kodu nguzilungamisa kapena kuziyeresa because when we read romans chapter 10 verse 3 says Let me start from verse 2 so that to come up with the good picture of verse 3 that we are going. Ndi mina ningoyambira pa ndime yake achiwili kuti ndikhale ndi chithu chithu chabule chakumene ndikupita. Here we see the desire of Paul and what makes Paul to pray for his own people. Abantu tiona chikumbo kumbo cha Paulo ndi chimene anali nacho kuti afike kwa pemphenera wanthu. Verse two says for I bear them record that they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge. That is it. Ndi mechita pa kuti pakuti ndi wachitira iwo umboni kuti ali ndi changu cha kwa Mulungu koma simonga mwa chidziwiso. Amen and Jesus of God having a desire to worship God having everything according to the word of God worshiping thinking about the things of God but not according to the knowledge of God Ukuti ndikukhala ndi changu pa zili zokhuza Mulungu ukhala ndi ntima ofuna funa kupembeza ndikulemekeza Mulungu ukhala ndi chikumbo kumbo chachita chidi chonse chokhuza Mulungu koma popanda chidziwiso cha Mulungu uyo He says but not according to knowledge not according to Christ 
Ndipo anena kuti koma simonga mwa chidziviso kutanthauza kuti simonga mwa Yesu Kristo. Because knowledge is Christ as we read first Corinthians chapter 1 verse 13. Chifukwa nzea chidziviso ndi Yesu Kristo umonga mene tiwerengera buku la 1 ya Korinto chapter 1 ndimake ya 13. Now the three says for they being ignorant of God's lusciousness and going about to establish their own lusciousness have not submitted themselves unto the lusciousness of God. Ndi majitatwa kuti pa kuti pa kusadziwa chilungamo cha Mungu ndipo pofuna kukadzikisa chilungamo cha iwo woka iwo sana gonja ku chilungamo cha Mungu Here we see being ignorant then because lusciousness is in it you do establish your own lusciousness Ndiyo apa tikuona kusadziwa mmene kulili chifanana kuti iwe sukuzwa chilunga mocha mulungu maloma ke umakhazikisa chilunga mocha ko chai weka If the knowledge of God is not with you it means you are ignorant of the things of God sometimes automatically you do establish your own lusciousness ngati tu chilunga ngati kuzindikira kapena zero ya kwa mulungu yozindikira sina pasikwe kwa iweyo zomwe zimatanzoza kuti iweyo ndi wosadziwa ndi chilunga mocha chonse cha mulungu maloma ke ndaye kwe uzakhazikisa chilunga mocha ko chai weka now there is a problem and the very dangerous if it is not preached by God to reveal Christ in you so that you have this knowledge of God and you establish your own lusciousness then if Christ came to you you never submit yourself to him kuto lali kulu komanso kuopsha kumene kuoneka ngati sikuna chite kukondolesa mulungu mwini wacho kuti akugulutse Kristo mwa iweyo ndi kuti ukondolere chilunga mocha mulungu chimene chimaka chitika nchonena kuti iweyo umaka uh, umaka kondolera ndi chilunga mocha ko chai weka maloma ka Yesu Kristo akaonekera masomo ako kapena akaonekera kwa iweyo iwe suma gonja kwa iye valis much of people that have established their own lusciousness and that lusciousness is blocking them from hearing the righteousness of God instead they are self justified bali no magulu atswambiri amene akakhazikisa chilunga mochao cha iwoka ndiye chilunga mochao iwoka chima wachikisa kuti asakhulupirira kapena saone chilunga mochao mulungu malonga ke zimene zozima wapangisa kuti iwo adzisi khulupirira okha ndi kumadzilunga misa when you preach the real gospel of Christ of the scriptures expect all those self justifiers to slide against you and there will be a fight Ngati mutalalikira uthenga wabu ni Yesu Kristo wa malemba uyu muyembekezera kuti kuna kuti kwaiwo zamena nakhazikisa chilunga mocha iwokha azazuka ndikubwere sankhondo komanso chotsezo ndi mavuto pa moyo wabu So self justifiers who never hear or submit themselves to the Christ lusciousness. Modelo, you all say men do chilunga misa okha, za za mva kapena kupereka miyo kuti kugonjera kwa chilunga mocha mulungu. And Isaiah 64:6 says that our self lusciousness are about filthy lusts. Ndipo buku la Isaiah 64 ndi mega ya 6 ila ngula pomveka bwino kunena kuti chilunga moja athu chaifeyo chakhala ndi sanza zeni zeni sichili kanthu koma ndi sanza zeni zeni zonunga So where the religious groups are coming from they are coming from this liar who was set forth waiting for the Lord to bring in the religion so that they had erected to believe the lie and they should establish they are all righteousness and when the righteousness of God will come to them they should never submit instead they should start their idolatry worship that is religionism 
Yeno kuzo kumali na kutukoni na anga zike mbezo za boza Mapikene ama kutumbida maboza mafatu Ama jokera kutizo mbezo za boza Zima jokera kukwa boza limite lina ikibira atu Kuti oo wakali kurubilile Ndiyo waja wakali kurubilile malomu ake Ama zika zikisira jirunga moja iwoka Kwa kazi kisa jirunga moja iwoka Ama gagana kapena kutu Ama gatsusa jirunga moja mulungu Chimene jini mwa Yesu Christu monga wa kufuna kwa ake Malomu ake Ama zika zikisira wakandi kuzipe Kuzipe zina maloka Ajirunga mwenye kuzie saoka Kukala ulunga ba Kukala utenga wabu ino kukala ulunga ba Kukala ajona jirunga moja mulungu Verse 12 says they had pleasure in unrighteousness. Of first, uh, second Thessalonians chapter two. Chifuaja ge mvesi ya ge turo vuyo ndi na ina ya bunifu kuti sana koma ana bondwe la nicho sabunga ba. Christ is our righteousness. Ndi chilunga mojato. If we don't have Christ. Then we pressure ourselves in unrighteousness. If we pressure ourselves in righteousness and in unrighteousness, it means we have established our own religion. Then we are a religionism, the richest groups of people. Kaya umwe ni makala kuti kukazi kisa ajibe mbezo jani ziko latu ni kukala anto ajibe mbezo. So when you establish your religion and you start being a religious group of person, then you create your own God, the God made by your heart, the man made God. Kuna kazi kisa ajibe mbezo jani ziko latu mucho salungaba hapo. Malonga ge, choke la magani zomwa kwa uma ya baso bano kupanga mirungu ye, choke la magani zomwa kwa ndiku ya mba kuhive mbeza, mwonga mwa jive mbezo. But here now, there is hope, verse 13. Kuma betu upalichito ntozo, ndiku ya mbegezo mundime ya kia 13. Verse 13 says, but we are bound to give thanks all the way to God for you. Brethren, beloved. Of the Lord, because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Oh, but here in the life, it is here we come to learn how we saw and see the fact that you are very wounded. We are very good. 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 Mulangire jipulu muso, mwachiele so, jansi mundi jikulu bilido jacho nadi. Mark, or underwrite the word, we are bound to give thanks for our to God. Ndeno, musunde mawa amene oho, amene agula mkula mwenye na kutitizia amiga mungutha wizonse. We have no any other thing to do before God, but to bound to give thanks for our way. Because Apostle Paul was to give us back to give thanks to God because of the Thessalonians. But what makes Paul? Bound giving thanks to God all the way, it's because the Thessalonians believed in the word, the gospel, the little gospel that Paul preaches and that Paul believed. Kumbaro chipele paulo amagala mkulida kune na kutie nilai fetizi kwa nandukia mika mungu mtawi zonze chifajaa tesalonika Iti nchifajaa nina kutie andu wangu peagwe tesalonika ana kurubilila utenga weni weni wangu nino Mene paulo ntumu yo ana ulalibila It's not all tesalonians by country but the blizzard that are a beloved of the Lord and another comfort, if you realize that you are the one 
allowed by God. This is so because God has from the beginning chosen you, chosen us to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and the belief of the truth. Ndiponsoro ni dotozo china ndi chikunena kuti pamene iwe wazindikira kunena kuti Mulungu anakubonda pamene bo pamakhala kuti wazindikira kunena kuti Mulungu yo anakusankha iweyo kuyambira pachiambi dziko la pansi lisa nakhazikisidwe ndipo anakuyeresa kwa msimu wake here speaking from the beginning he chose some to salvation ndipo apa tikuona kuti chikula apa kulankhulidwa zakusankhidwa kuchokera pachiambi ndi kuyerezedwa and those he chose to salvation those sanctification of the spirit ndipo iwo amene anasankhidwa anayerezedwa mwa msimu and those who are sanctified by the spirit there is a belief of the truth that is Christ Jesus who died for them ndipo kwa iwo amene anayerezedwa mwa msimu pali tichikhulupira chimene chinaverekedwa kwa iwo so to conclude verse 13 you can see that Paul is giving thanks to God because God erected the believers and Christ died for the believers and the spirit sanctified the believers ndeno bomba nkota kuyangana verse yonse ya 13 imene kulankulira paulo amakaya mika mulungu chifuacho tena kuti mulungu poyamba anasankha anthu ndi kwapanga kukhala kukhulupira ndipo Yesu Kristo anabwera ndi kwafera iwo amene ndokhulupira momwe mzimu anawayeresa iwo amene ndokhulupira so the god trinity the god head is speaking about the love of god upon the earth from eternity that will never believe the lie of the liar that has been set forth before and established his own self lusciousness and justification and establish his own religion otero apa paoneka tu utatu oyera umene pa utatu umene wonse umene ukuoka ukumangirira munthu okhulupira kuti akhale okhulupira ndipo munthu yakakhala okhulupira sama khala soto okhulupira bodza kapena kukhazikisa chipembezo cha mtsiko lake ndi kukhulupira bodza ai verse 14 says where unto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our lord jesus christ ndime afoti na kuti kumene ana ana itanako inu mwa uthenga wa bwino watu kuti mulandire ulemelero wangu ye watu yesu christo and he says therefore brethren stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught whether by word or our epistle kwa jaje tsono abali chirimikani wilitsani miyambo imene tina kuphunzisani kapena mwa mawu kapena mwa kalata watu my god continue blessing the preaching of his word to the irreg god they might stand in the word even during the opposition ambuye tu abilize kudalisa kulalikira kwa uthenga wa bwino kwa iwa mere mulungu ana wapangira kuti akalalikire maka maka kuti akathe kuima ape ngakhale mtsawu ya kutsusidwa to conclude the time of worship for today bomba nkota mma pemphero wa tsiku la lero there is a liar waiting for those to be lied to and believe the lie bali tu ona ama amene alipo ndipo iwo akuyembekezera kunamiza anthu amene abakhulupira bodza ndi ndi kunamizidwa and god who said strong delusion so that those that are there to believe the lie should believe the lie but blessed are the children because god will snatch them from the heart of the liar that is the belief in Christ of the scripture ndipo mulungu adzatumiza pachikudoso cheresa kwa iwo onse amene ndokhulupira bodza 
Iko nayo yo mweyo azakala kulimbikitsa yo abiri yeyo ana wabadulira atu kuti akaimebe kakhalimtawi ya bodza